There are several reasons why you might want to group controls, but the most common is probably to better organize your controls when working with large mockups. Grouping makes sense when you have a set of controls that belong together. It makes it easier to move and position controls that you've already laid out how you want them. Let's say you've created a dialog box and you want to center it on the screen. You could align each control individually with the background control, but it can get a little messy and take time. So let's select the controls in the dialog box and group them using the group icon in the toolbar. You can also use Control or Command and G on the keyboard. Notice that now they move together and their color changes to light purple. That tells you they're grouped. Now you can center the dialog box as a whole easily over the browser window. If you want to edit the controls inside a group, double click on it or press enter when it's selected. You'll see now that the controls not in the group are grayed out and that a little bar appears showing you that you're inside a group. Now you can make edits to controls inside the group. When you're done, you can click the home icon in the floating breadcrumb bar or press escape. Finally, let's look at how we can create groups within groups. Let's group these two buttons so that we can align them inside the dialog box. Now if I enter this group, you can see that it's a subgroup of my original group. You can also name your groups to make it easier when you have several nested groups.